Hello and welcome to program 41 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're not part of our email list, then please go to markplex.com and uh, I'll keep you up to date when I release new programs or tutorials. So program 41 is looking for congestion areas on a chart. And the way that I'm defining this is that we have, like in this example here, three high pivots which line up and you can, as a user, you can determine how close, how closely they need to line up. And within that area there, we've also got two low pivots. And you can see here that we've got a green line. There's also a red line there. It's actually um, covered by the magenta line because what we're also looking for is three low pivots lining up and then during that congestion area we've got two high pivots and what we do once we found those areas and the pivots have been confirmed is that we then draw the lines and then we continue with show me dots until the line is broken actually what I've done is added a user input which I've called tolerance which just means that the price has to go through that line by a little bit more in fact you could set it to zero so there doesn't have to be anything there but it's set at the moment so price has to go through by a certain amount before we stop drawing those dots and we actually draw the dot one more dot um, after we've gone through the line and when the line when the dots stop you know that we've broken through the line so if you decide to do uh, to take the download of this then I'm going to include another video which just explains how to set up the program. Also, if you're a Gold Pass member, I'm going to include yet another video, uh, which you will get even if you don't download the program, which will briefly talk through the program and explain how it works. Now, this program will work on case and intraday and daily and weekly, monthly, line break and tick charts. But as always with tick charts, you will find that uh, sometimes because uh, several bars could actually in, uh, have the same time signature that there might be some slight aberrations on the smaller number of tick charts. So let me just uh, look at the inputs. Just explain those to you. And uh, first of all, defining the pivots, just uh, simply using left strength and right strength. If you're not familiar with pivot, then you can look in the TradeStation help and that'll explain that. The max allowed angle difference. This is determining how close the angles have to be before we actually determine that uh, the three high or low pivots are lined up. And as I say, I'm going to explain another video to show you how you can do that. Line color one, two, three, and four to determine the color of those lines. And then the tick tolerance, I just called it tolerance a moment ago. Tick tolerance is the actual name, and that is how how many ticks the line has to, or how many ticks price action has to go through the line before we consider that that congestion has been, uh, that congestion area has been broken through. And then finally debug, which I will also explain in another video should you download the program. So just to show you this on a few different charts. This is a daily mini Dow. Show you, for example, the a tick chart here. You can see it's uh, working 600 ticks. And uh, for example, you can see here that we've got the three higher pivots and uh, the two low pivots. And then we continue those lines until the channel is broken. Now, one thing I didn't mention is these lines also have to be converging. So they have to be coming towards each other. As you can see here, these two lines getting closer and closer. Uh, also show you a case chart. You can see nice examples here of the uh, pivot joining lines followed by the continuation pattern, followed then by the price breaking through that channel. And you can see here similarly. So in, in my case, we've got a green line at the top when we've got the three high pivots lining up and the red when we've just got the two low pivots. And then we've got the magenta line when we've got the three low pivots lining up. And then we've just got the, uh, the dark cyan here to link up two high pivots and those lines are converging. And we continue the with show me dots until the channel is broken through. So let's just see if we've got anything else. 60 minute chart, doesn't look like there's a, a huge number of congestion areas on here. It re really determines how closely you believe the lines have to be for 
the lines to, to be considered to be joining those pivots. Anyway, hopefully you might find this program useful. As I say, I'm going to do another video which will explain how to do the setup. Thank you.